Hello and welcome to the sneak peek of the Artist Forum Festival of the Moving Image 2020. I'm Rebecca L. Hargrove, co-host of the Artist Forum TV on MNN, and today I'm joined by my co-host, Michael Inge. Hey, Rebecca. Hey. As ambassadors of this year's film festival, we would like to share with you what you can expect from our 2020 lineup. The Artist Forum Festival of the Moving Image returns for its fifth year of new innovative programming. This festival is a competitive program that allows filmmakers to have a platform to share their stories with the world's creative, media, and filmmaking communities. For the first time, our festival will be available exclusively online. To expand our global reach, we're excited to announce that we're partnering with international screening platform, Smart Cinema USA. The Smart Cinema USA app will be available on cross-platform devices, including iOS and Android mobile phones and smart TVs. Online screenings will be available from October 16th through November 12th, 2020, ending with our award ceremony on November 14th, 2020. For tickets and for more information, visit us at theartistsforum.org. The Artist Forum Festival of the Moving Image 2020 will showcase 42 short films with filmmakers representing 16 different countries. The film festival requires that films present innovative vision and unique perspectives in 30 minutes or less. Each year, the festival highlights a wide variety of categories, such as narrative, experimental, documentary, comedy, animation, and music videos. This year, the festival will feature a new special themed category, New York Stories. Here's a look at our 2020 official trailer. somehow separate? That you're protected from the damage? The 2020 festival will be divided into four individual programs. Each program will be available to stream for one week only. So we encourage you to plan accordingly. Program one, Search for Belonging, consists of nine international short films available from October 16th to the 22nd. In these films, filmmakers display characters who are seeking solace, family, or a home to call their own. They embrace their curiosities by either running to or away from their obstacles in hopes of a happier outcome. Let's hear what one filmmaker had to say. Hi, my name is Evan Cutler Waddles. I am a filmmaker based in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania and New York, New York. The title of my film is Keep Me. Do you want to, gonna... oh. <laughs> oh, beer. Uh, Do you want beer? Yeah, I beer. beer. Yeah, whiskey? Keep Me is the story of a one night stand which turns into an intimate experience far more powerful and intense than either of its two participants could have ever predicted. The production resulted in the best filmmaking experience of my life. Uh, the real challenge came in the edit. I had to take an ax to it and I had to boil it down to what the story was ultimately about which is these two people dealing with things they don't necessarily want to deal with. This is my first experience with being a part of the Artist Forum, and I could not be more thrilled uh, to see uh, 
my film listed alongside some of these other really incredible and far superior pieces of art. Um, and I'm just really honored to be here and be a part of this. Again, you can see that film along with eight other international short films, October 16th through the 22nd. Program one, search for belonging. Program two, Agents of Chaos, consists of 10 international short films available October 23rd through October 29th, 2020. The title says it all. Stories of broken political promises, espionage, sex trafficking, sexual assault, toxic masculinity, murder, and genocide all sum up this body of work. Messages from these filmmakers should be kept in mind before stuffing the ballot box this year. Let's hear what one filmmaker had to say. Hi, I'm Katie Colosimo. I'm a filmmaker and video editor based in Brooklyn, New York, and I'm also the writer-director of Realize Your Dreams. Adversity has uh, been overcome, and lives have changed forever. I've met people all around our country who can share their stories of, of hard work and uh, fighting odds that have been stacked against them. Realize Your Dreams is an experimental look at the isolated Midwest. It's kind of a film about American values, in a sense. Through empty words and empty images, it questions traditional values of safety, community, and leadership. Probably the most challenging parts were shooting it on Super 8 and just handheld, so I had to make sure that I had a very steady hand while shooting it. It's so important to just keep making things, even if it doesn't turn out exactly how you wanted it to. There should be no shame in getting better. I'm very excited to be a part of the Artist Forum. I think that it's really cool that there's a community that is geared towards unconventional and new types of filmmaking, and I think that's really exciting. I'm looking forward to seeing what everyone else has involved in the festival. Again, you can see this and the other nine films from Program 2, Agents of Chaos, October 23rd through October 29th, 2020. Program 3, Tales of the Heart, consists of 12 international short films available from October 30th to November 5th. These filmmakers are showing narratives that tell multiple facets of the love story. Stories of love, desire, feelings of loneliness and betrayal. Let's hear what one filmmaker had to say. I'm Jeff Ray, filmmaker from East Lansing, Michigan, and the name of my film is Songs From My Right Side. I'm not back. What the hell you call yourself doing? What? Last night my friend had two flat tires on his truck. I'm sorry to hear that. You did it. What? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what you're you lying. Think. I could always tell when you're lying. That's how I know you cheated on me. You can't lie worth a damn. Songs from My Right Side is a drama about Roger Smith, a middle-aged, middle-class black man who has brought harm to his relationship. Um, he has stepped out on his partner um, of 20 years. And um, at the same time, he's got this pain on the right side of his body. I think one of the interesting things about the film is like um, any independent filmmaker, um, in an effort to solve a problem, uh, not having a location. We shot some of the film at uh, my house. And I always tell people, don't uh, don't let filmmakers come in your house and shoot film. Uh, <laughs> because we know what the deal is. Uh, and so my wife, my partner, was not very happy about that, having a film crew at our house. Um, but uh, she allowed it. and uh, And I think my house looks pretty gorgeous in the film. I, I was looking up places where um, um, I just would like my film to show, and I came across the Artist Forum, and it just looked wonderful. Um, and I think it seems like the name Artist um, epitomizes what it's all about, because so many um, festivals or venues want your film to sit into a certain niche. Um, but uh, the Artist Forum uh, seems like kind of my favorite thing in, in that it's open, it's kind of a free-for-all, and all it's interested in is art. And so um, uh, some of my filmmaking friends from New York just advised me that um, it's really, truly a great kind of venue to uh, show your work. So I'm happy to be in it. 
Again, you can see this film, along with 11 other international short films, between October 30th and November 5th for Tales of the Heart. Program 4, Acute Stress Response, consists of 11 international short films and is available from November 6th through November 12th, 2020. And our final program, The Stress of Living in Our Modern World, triggers the fight or flight response to the extreme. Panic, road rage, bitter angst, fantasy, escapism, and parallel timelines. Let's hear what one filmmaker had to say. My name is Mark Klauberg. I am a filmmaker based out of New Jersey, and I am the writer and director of the short film, The Time in Between the Seconds. Hey, did it ever warn you? Back up! It's okay, Sam. He won't do it. You are not a bad person. I can see it in your eyes. Everything is going to be okay. The Time in Between the Seconds focuses on a young woman named Wendy who is shot in a violent convenience store robbery in the beginning of the film. I wanted to explore the idea of giving up your own life for someone you love. Who would do that and why? Um, Wendy, in certain scenes, had a large gash on her chin and then a full brace on her arm, where in other scenes she would only have maybe a small scar on her chin or a uh, smaller brace on, on the arm. So we had to keep a a log of uh, which scenes happened in which part of the timeline and then how Wendy would look um, based on the different injuries that she experiences throughout the film. When I got the email notifying us that we were going to be part of the Artist Forum this year, I was beyond grateful. Uh, I've been to a, a, a lot of festivals over the last few years and sometimes festivals might be a little concerned uh, more about which celebrities are going to show up, how big the after parties are, things like that. The Artist Forum really seems to focus on the film and the artists and the filmmakers behind it and now it's very important to us so uh, absolutely blessed to be a part of it this year. Again you can see this and the 10 other films from program 4 Acute Stress Response November 6th through November 12th 2020. And here's a word from the Artists Forum president and founder. Thank you Michael and Rebecca. The Artists Forum established its Festival of the Moving Image to provide an intimate alternative for both emerging and mid-career filmmakers outside the traditional Hollywood community. We are committed to producing an unparalleled opportunity for independent filmmakers to be seen and heard in the formidable New York City and international arts and media markets. We are very excited about our fifth year entries. A selection of original films by extraordinary filmmakers, including several premieres, we invite our audiences to discover yourself by exploring new interests through the art of cinema. We'd like to welcome our new partner, Smart Cinema USA, and the opportunity they provide us to showcase the work of our filmmakers worldwide by using their mobile app. To purchase your festival tickets, please visit theartistforum.org. There you can also find detailed descriptions of the individual films within each program. We encourage you to join the conversation by posting your reactions to this year's festival. Thank you, Amos. The Artists Forum, now in its 22nd year, is a New York City-based nonprofit arts service organization specializing in events, juried competitions, and media for artists. Its Festival of the Moving Image is the organization's flagship program. The Artists Forum Festival of the Moving Image is funded in part by a grant from the NYC and Company Foundation. You can stay connected and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Vimeo, and YouTube at The Artist Forum. Thanks for tuning in. Enjoy the festival!